Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. You guys, it's been released. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And let me tell you, this thing is packed just like Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone when it comes to illustrations and interactive bits. I'll show you what I mean about interactive bits in a second. Most of you probably know or have heard that Chamber of Secrets is my favorite book and movie and this does not disappoint a Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets fan. Now, Mina Lima, if you don't know, they are the graphic designers for the Harry Potter movies, as well as the Fantastic Beasts movies. They even did graphic design for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They are responsible for some of the most amazing props, like Ravenclaw's Diadem, Hermione's Time Turner, the Daily Prophet, and they decided last year, or they probably decided sooner than last year, but they decided and then released last year the first Harry Potter book in this beautiful illustrated edition. But here's the thing. So they have all of this art Work and all of these designs in their heads for the Harry Potter movies, but the books are in a completely different style. So they've completely reimagined what they've already created for the movies and have put it into these books. So this is going to be a complete flip through of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets illustrated by Mina Lima. Without further ado, let's get started and look at the front cover. On the front cover, we see the very famous scene of Harry and Ron in the Ford Anglia on their way to Hogwarts with the Hogwarts Express down here. There is a ton of gold foiling all over this book. You all know the Niffler inside of me is freaking out from that gold foiling. All four houses are represented. Here we have Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, which is an eagle, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff down there. There's just literally magic scattered throughout all of these illustrations. So when you purchase your copy, sit down, grab a nice warm beverage of some kind, get cozy and examine every nook and cranny because Mina Lima has just poured out illustrations and little Easter eggs all throughout the book. The book has the appearance of being cloth bound. I don't believe it is cloth bound. I think it's paper, but it looks like a cloth bound book. The pages are sewn in. The back has some information as well as copyright info. And look at that spine. Assuming Mina Lima does all seven of the Harry Potter books, the spines on those seven books is going to be incredible. Here are the first two, which are already starting to create Hogwarts Castle. All right, let's open the book. On the end papers, we see a bludger chasing a wizard on a broomstick that must be Harry Potter and Dobby's bludger. Here's the title page with the Slytherin crest, a fun reimagined Slytherin crest. Copyright information, the chapters, and here we are to our first illustration. It shows Harry, Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and Dudley sitting at the table. There's so much illustrated just in the border itself. Every page has something. Here we see Harry daydreaming about Quidditch and Hogwarts. Dobby's eyes. All of the chores Harry had to do. And then we get into chapter two, Dobby's warning, where we see Dobby for the first time. What I love is everything scattered around on the floor. You know, we see that it's July 31st, which is Harry's birthday. All of the other days are X'd out on the calendar. There's a Dumbledore chocolate frog in there. There's just so much to look at. Dobby with Harry's letters. Oh, poor Harry. This illustration is just brilliant. So Harry dreams that he is an animal in the zoo and his relatives are rattling on the bars and laughing at him. So we see shadows of Dudley and Petunia, Uncle Vernon and Dobby, as well as the words that make up zoo. I thought that this was a brilliant representation of this chapter. Chapter three, The Burrow. All right, we have come to our very first interactive piece. So here we see the full burrow house, but you can move the walls to reveal what is happening on the inside. So much fun. 
if you're reading Harry Potter for the first time as yourself, or if you're reading it to your son or your daughter, in my opinion, a book like this does improve the overall reading experience. What's cool about looking at Mina Lima's illustrations is a lot of what I'm seeing is what I originally imagined in my head when I first read the books. Now you may be saying, Peter, you're flipping a little too fast. Every page will be shown in the video, so I recommend if you're not purchasing the book for yourself to pause the video and just take in every single page. And we see some garden gnomes flying around and then come to another illustration of the burrow and the burrow yard. And Harry, Ron, Fred, and George are de-gnoming the yard. There's a sign that says, mind the ghoul. Who wouldn't want to live there? Here we see Mr. Weasley and another view of the Weasley's kitchen. This I thought was so much Fun. It's Ron's room and it is bright orange to represent Ron's favorite Quidditch team, the Chudley Cannons. Scabbers is even sleeping on the bed. All right, chapter four, Flourish and Blots. We see Diagon Alley, beautiful illustration. Our next interactive piece. There is so much in this interactive piece that I want to talk about, but I'm going to leave some of it for you to discover yourself. So we have Harry using flu powder for the first time. He says, Di Diagon Alley. And as we move this down, we see him traveling through the flu network until finally landing in Borgen and Burks. One thing I want you guys to look at are the portraits. All of the people in the portraits are looking at Harry and watching him experience flu powder for the first time, because that's what the portraits do. Borgen and Burks. Nocturne Alley. Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class, and honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League. Chapter five. The next interactive piece is the Whomping Willow, and it actually whomps. I love how this opens up and just reveals this 3D Whomping Willow. But let's take a look at the background here. Look at that gorgeous castle. I love that they created their own vision of Hogwarts. They didn't use any design elements that we see in the movies, and I love it against the night sky. Professor Snape. Chapter six shows the Howler and Ron receiving the Howler. Here we have Greenhouse Three and the students are learning to repot mandrakes. I would love to visit that classroom. And the next interactive bit is a mandrake and you can see the mandrake popping his eyes out of the hole there. And when you pull it out, it starts to scream. <laughs> Poor Ron, his broken wand. This is another brilliant thing that Mina Lima did. I don't know if it's mentioned in this book. It may have been mentioned in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, but Ron's wand is a hand-me-down from Charlie, his older brother. There are two initials carved into the wand, CW, Charlie Weasley, that have been scratched out and replaced with RBW, which is Ron Billius Weasley. I thought that that was just a brilliant thing to add to this illustration to show and explain the handing down of Ron's wand. Pesky Pixie Pesternomy. I love this overview of the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Everyone freaking out about the Pixies. Chapter seven. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Even the broomsticks are designed differently and the Quidditch robes and just fantastic. This is a fun page. Love all of the Quidditch balls featured. Colin Creevy's camera. The Nimbus 2001. <laughs> That's a lot of slugs. Poor Ron. Poor, poor Ron.
signed photos of Gilderoy. Here are Gilderoy Lockhart portraits that move in and out of the portraits. <laughs> Lockhart is just one of those characters who is one of my favorite non-main characters, but also annoys the heck out of me. But he cracks me up too, so I don't know if I like him or if I don't like him. The Death Day Party, Chapter 8. This is something that we've never seen, as far as I know, in a illustration, and it's Filch's office. What a contrast between the Halloween feast versus the Halloween death day party. Bunch of moldy food that ghosts can't eat. We see the headless hunt in the background. Peeves is here. All of the Hogwarts ghosts celebrating Sir Nearly Headless Nick. Chapter nine. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. Some more Gilderoy portraits. This is another one of those illustrations that we never see anywhere. It's the History of Magic classroom taught by Professor Benz. And that is actually where students learn about the Chamber of Secrets. In the movies, Hermione asks Professor McGonagall, but in the books, it was Hermione asking Professor Benz. Love those round stained glass windows of the four Hogwarts founders, as well as their relics. Oh my gosh, look at the teddy bear spider. The reason Ron is scared of spiders is because in his younger years, Fred turned his teddy bear into a spider. <laughs> that is so funny. I love that representation there. Here we have Moaning Myrtle. Oof, these spiders are seriously creepy. With the shadow effect, it looks like they're 3D and there are a bunch of spiders on this page. Chapter 10, we see the bludger chasing Harry. Here's the library. This looks absolutely beautiful. I love Mina Lima's use of colors. Polyjuice potion. Chapter 11. This is another great illustration. It's the Dueling Club but it's broken into four quadrants. So we see different things that happened, like Hermione and Pansy wrestling. We see the stage there with Gilderoy and Snape dueling and Malfoy casting Serpent Sordia. There's just so much action in this illustration. <laughs> Hagrid. There's been another attack. Here we have come to, I think, my favorite interactive piece. Y'all know I love Dumbledore, he's my favorite character. Well, here is his office. So what we do is we flip the gargoyle up, pull these two tabs to reveal the entrance to Dumbledore's office. We see Professor McGonagall and Harry Potter. And now we are in Dumbledore's office and we see Fox on a burning day. Fox has caught fire. And was reborn from the ashes. Happy Christmas. The second year Gryffindor dorm has really been decked out. Another brilliant 
interactive piece. There are three different wheels. Each one features either a mouth, eyes and nose, or hair, and this is the transformation after taking Polyjuice Potion. So you can create different faces and different transformation points for Harry and Ron. The Slytherin Common Room. Poor Hermione. Chapter 13. This is just a fun illustration in the Great Hall and Gilderoy Lockhart has sent gold winged dwarves to share some Valentine's Day love. <laughs> it's so bright, it's so colorful. That is exactly what I imagined when reading the books. This is a great illustration here. It shows all of the ink stained books from Harry's bag, except for the diary, which is how he learned that there was something special about the very secret diary. Here we see Tom Riddle and the memories. Chapter 14. Here's the hospital wing that shows everyone who has been petrified. This page and this page are cute. It shows Harry and Ron under the invisibility cloak going down the staircases and out of Hogwarts onto the grounds to visit Hagrid. I love this reimagined version of Dumbledore. Ugh, beautiful illustration. Beautiful illustration. Chapter 15. We're about to meet Aragog. More spiders, enough with the spiders already. They're creeping me out. Ah, ah, all the spiders, ah, ooh. Ah, there are more as you flip the page. I'm literally getting chills. Here is Aragog. It's a stunning illustration when it comes to color and light. It shows the moonlight on the trees, but also the light shining from the Fort Anglia casting shadows for Harry and Ron. More spiders, get me out of this chapter. Chapter 16. Information on the Basilisk. Gilderoy is trying to escape. This is another fun illustration showing the pipes and Harry, Ron, and Gilderoy sliding through them and landing to see that giant snake skin. The Chamber of Secrets. Sigh, Dun dun dun. Now this, this is how I imagined the chamber itself. The statue of Salazar Slytherin is described as a full body statue, not just a head as we see in the movies. I like the movie version, but this is how I imagined it. This massive chamber with this giant statue. Beautiful fox and the sorting hat. And here is the next interactive bit. Pull down the mouth of Salazar Slytherin and out pops the Basilisk. I love how the Basilisk looks kind of like a viper. The Sword of Gryffindor. The Basilisk has been stabbed. We see Mr. and Mrs. Weasley, Ron, Ginny, and Harry in Professor McGonagall's office. Poor Gilderoy, he lost his memory. <laughs> A very 
cute illustrations of Dobby here. Dobby is free. And Hagrid is free too from Azkaban. And that is the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Whew, the chills, it was worth the wait and I highly recommend that you purchase one of these. If this is something you would like to purchase for your collection or just purchase to have or purchase to give as a gift, check the description down below. I've left a link to show you where you can purchase it. Now, if you did not know, I had the honor of interviewing Mira Foramina and Eduardo Lima, Mina Lima, via their store within the Harry Potter store in New York City. That interview has been posted. We talked a lot about Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, some of their creative decisions, what it took to illustrate this book, tons of fun facts. The video was broken into four parts. You'll find one of the parts on Mina Lima's social media page. Another part will be on the Harry Potter New York store pages. The third part will be on the Scholastic social media pages. Scholastic is who published this book. And part four, you'll be able to find on the Potter Collector channel right here. Guys, let's talk about this book. Leave a comment down below. Let's start a conversation. Tell me about your favorite illustrations, your favorite interactive parts, what you thought about the book as a whole. Was it worth the wait? Are you hopeful that they'll continue the series? They haven't confirmed Prisoner of Azkaban is coming out. So let's keep crossing our fingers, our toes, our ears, our nose, that Mina Lima continues to put out these beautiful illustrated editions. Once again, the book is now available to add to your collection. If you're interested in purchasing one for yourself, check the description down below. There's a link to show you where you can purchase this book with free worldwide shipping. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?